Hello. Hello and welcome to Vilna. Thank you for joining our introduction to Motor C14. We had hoped to introduce this exciting new product at the trade fairs this year because we really wanted to present it to you in person. But we are happy to do it this way. After the successful introduction of our basic systems crossboards and 185 power for machinery and plant construction as well as power distribution, Wöhner is breaking through into a completely new dimension. The Motor C14, developed in Rödenthal, produced in Weinstadt and made for the world. Let's go! Music on, lights out and action! Today we present the next evolution of motor starters. We've designed this new generation to meet your desires for future-proof machinery and plant construction. It features intuitive user guidance, integrated communication and measurement technology, plus fuseless, restartable motor protection with C14 technology. This technology enables you to disconnect from prospective short circuits up to 100 kA. All that in a width of 22.5 mm with tool-free mounting on all Vöhna basic systems. Today we're going to give you some insights into our development work. We'll show you how we manufacture the product in Germany and we'll explain how it works in practice. Plus, it's already in operation, here in our factory and at pilot customers in continuous operating mode. But first, the development work. The starting point was the global demand for a fuseless, restartable motor starter as a supplement or alternative to the proven FuseLink solutions. As a driver of innovation, it made sense for Wöhner to undertake the development jointly with our sister company Future Systems. It was quite a mega project, as you can hear from our man for mega jobs, Peter Spiel. The goal was to develop a technology that switches off more quickly than a fuse does, has a lower system load and is restartable, also remotely. It comes down to two things, detect quickly and switch off quickly. It's exactly these two things that are the big challenge. The first attempt was electromechanical, within the scope of Wöhner's core expertise at the time. But we quickly realized that the times and the forces needed to create a separation distance were too great after all, and we weren't within the target time. The second attempt was electronic, and we devised a suitable circuit at the first stage, but the key components weren't yet available. The key component that we settled on, the SIG MOSFET, had been around in the lab for 20 years, but only in the course of the project did it become suitable for the technology in terms of price and performance. Then came the breakthrough. With this device we achieved 15 kA to start with, and then fabulous values of 65 and 100 kA in further tests. The unit's width is a big issue. The goal was to get it as slim as possible. We began with an overall width of 36 mm and then managed to trim it down to 22.5 mm. The other thing was that we have very sophisticated measurement technology in the device. Why not make it externally available to the customer? Beyond that, we have developed what I would say is a basic technology. This C14 technology, which switches off more quickly than a fuse and is restartable, can be integrated in any device or control cabinet functionality. 
We have it as an electronic platform, which we can easily adapt, modify and integrate. This product was developed, tested and validated in-house by Future Systems as part of our Wöhner team. And here at Wöhner, if an innovation seems feasible and within striking distance, then we go for the implementation and get it done. Thank you, Peter Spiel and the team from Wöhner and Future Systems. The development work was extremely demanding, but it was the start of a promising direction for the future. The introduction of electronic features into the Wöhner system world. You can expect a lot more from us in this area. And now to the production of our Moto C14. It's manufactured by our sister company, Grüninger Electronics, in Weinstadt. That makes the Moto C14 a genuine Wöhner made in Germany product. With the Moto C14, we add value through space savings, greater safety, intelligence and efficiency in the control cabinet. Now let's see how the Moto C14 works in practice. Hey boss, I wanted to tell you that line 3 has stopped. Why? One of the drives on the delivery conveyor seems to have lost power. Well, then look at the C14. Okay, will do. Insulation's gone on a cable at the cable tray. I need about 15 minutes for it. Hi. The line's running again. The interactive operating concept begins with the installation. The installation is guided. The initialization and settings are confirmed. In addition, we have a comprehensive fault and warning management system. Faults and warnings are shown on the display, for one thing, and for another, by LEDs on the front, which light up red for faults and yellow for warnings. The position of the LED gives an indication of the error. The initial status is signaled by a white main LED. This white main LED, as we see here, 
This signals that it's ready for operation, and so that I can see directly whether the motor is now switched on or not, it indicates that status too, with a green main LED. And on the display I can even see which direction the motor is running in, in this case to the right. The device monitors its peripherals all the time and gives us various warnings of fault signals if it detects something. Warnings are purely informative. Faults lead to the device switching off. For example, let's suppose that your power supply has failed. The main LED is yellow. This is a visual indication of the warning status, and you can see that the casing is also illuminated. In this case, there's an overvoltage affecting the control plug. That's why it's lighting up at the top of the case. Another variable that we monitor with this device is the temperature. We measure the maximum temperature at various points in the device. And if critical values are exceeded here, we want the customer to be notified at an early stage, so he can take the appropriate measures in time. It's lighting up both above and below, because the whole device is affected. With a motor starter, we also monitor the motor current. And if it falls below a critical value, I get a visual signal at the lower end, because that is where the load plug for the motor feeder is located. The most critical case that can occur is a short circuit at the load. This is where the device shows its strengths. We switch off the short circuit safely in 8 microseconds. The device then notifies us in following manner. The main LED lights up red, and on the display I see the dedicated fault description, showing a short circuit. If I press this main button, I even get detailed instructions on how to fix the fault. The suggested action is check motor cable. When the customer has remedied the fault, this can be confirmed by pressing the main button for two seconds, then operation can be resumed. The C14 device can be connected to a laptop via a USB cable. That allows various settings to be made. There are export and import functions, so that configurations can be saved and uploaded to other devices. You probably recognize the features that are important to you. Features that offer you added value and make your customers enthusiastic about your system solutions. Intuitive operation, safety, restartability, space savings, and intelligent integration in central and decentralized systems. Here in Rödenthal, we have an automated production facility with a large number of motor controls. So you won't be surprised to hear that we already have the Moto C14 in regular operation. Klaus Pflüger from Sales will tell us about it. And he has a pilot customer on the line with feedback. The tasks performed here at Wöhner are those of a normal motor starter. We have already replaced conventional motor starters with a motor C14 in applications such as transport, logistics and height adjustments. Both the installation and the commissioning went without problems. They do their job and we haven't yet been able to test the response to a real-life fault. That's only done on the test bench. Of course, at Wöhner they aren't used any differently to how the customers use them. Firstly, the Motor C14 is a space-saving motor starter that is easy to use, offers exceptional safety due to C14 switching and can be restarted again and again. And secondly, communication, data logging and integration with a digital factory are becoming increasingly important. We presented the device to selected pilot customers in advance and succeeded in arousing interest from two firms in particular. At Hedelius, the Moto C14 is being used in multi-access machining centers and at Reifenhäuser in systems for processing plastics. The C14 is currently installed in a control cabinet that is mounted on an extruder, and there the C14 controls cooling fans for heating and cooling zones. This means that there can be very frequent switching changes, especially in a startup and shutdown process. 
It can be that the speed of the extruder is changed, which causes the process variables to change, so the cooling fan is frequently switched on and off. Will you also use the measurement data, or is that rather of secondary importance to you? We carry out condition monitoring here. That includes monitoring such variables. Here too we are very interested in evaluation and data logging. We haven't been able to test the troubleshooting so far, because we simply haven't had any faults. In fact, the component is quietly installed in the control cabinet at the moment and you don't notice anything, just as it should be for a reliable industrial component. I hope we've aroused your curiosity. The IEC and UL certifications have been completed. The warehouse is stocked. I can proudly say, we've made it. The Moto C14 has become a reality, and it's ready for delivery. You can get all the information and a detailed functional description here at motus-c14.de. For specific questions, you can contact our technical service and our sales department at any time, or today in the chat. Thank you for your time, and I hope to see you soon, in person, and above all, healthy. Goodbye. And one more time, because it's so nice.